And arthritis just means inflammation of a joint, and that inflammation can occur because the joint has become deteriorated, arthritic, uh, worn, or it can just be inflamed. There are forms of arthritis which occur after an injury, for example. Others are secondary to a genetic predisposition. A mother will have it, a grandmother will have it. More common in women when it's a genetic component. Uh, there are sports injuries in men, for example, which repetitively traumatize the hip and can cause arthritis. The vast majority of people, we don't have a good explanation for why it occurs. And the theory is that the joints wear out as people get older, but that's probably not a great answer because there are many people in their 80s and 90s that don't have hip arthritis. So it's probably multifactorial. It is a disease where the cartilage, or the covering of the ball of the hip, is affected and gets destroyed. Now once that material becomes destroyed, then bone is exposed beneath that cartilage, and then that bone grates against the other side of the joint and destroys the other side of the joint. When that happens, the motion in the hip becomes impaired and, and pain occurs. Osteoarthritis affects almost 40 million. Americans. So we see this very commonly and what patients notice is a loss in their ability to walk and to function in a day-to-day -day way. And the pain will gradually increase as time goes on. Avascular necrosis talks more about bone. And avascular means there's no blood flow. And if you lose the blood flow to bone, the bone will die. And in the case of the hip, we're talking about the ball or the femoral head. The way I like to describe it to a patient, it's like you had a ping pong ball. And you took your thumb and you put a depression in the ball. And that's what avascular necrosis is. It's a depression in the head, bone dies, bone collapses, cartilage covering gets lost, support system, and then the cartilage collapses. Because the joint no longer fits, you get wear patterns to destroy the joint. Many times, for necrosis, we end up replacing the hip. Sometimes even if the incongruity or the depression is not that significant, the pain is so intense. Avascular necrosis talks more about bone. And avascular means there's no blood flow. And if you lose the blood flow to bone, the bone will die. And in the case of the hip, we're talking about the ball or the femoral head. The way I like to describe it to a patient, it's like you had a ping pong ball. And you took your thumb and you put a depression in the ball. And that's what avascular necrosis is. It's a depression in the head, bone dies, bone collapses, cartilage covering gets lost, support system, and then the cartilage collapses. Because the joint no longer fits, you get wear patterns to destroy the joint. Many times. I think uh, early treatment of arthritis is important so that if it is identified early on, I think treatments are available which can delay the progression of arthritis. Body weight is an issue and a problem. The increased load on a joint definitely accelerates the deterioration of the joint. So if you want to avoid arthritis or avoid the progression of it, you want to keep the, your body weight under control. Exercise is important. You want good muscle power about joints, uh, particularly if you start to develop arthritis. I think that will delay the progression of it if the joint is in good muscle tone. An x-ray is the benchmark. And an x-ray will define very early on if the joint is arthritic or not. And we'll see it very clearly by narrowing of the, what we call the articular space, which is where the cartilage is in the joint. And it's very obvious from an x-ray if arthritis is evolving or if there's another condition. Sometimes if it's more subtle, we'll use other imaging studies. An MRI, for example, can be helpful. We may use certain blood studies if we're suspicious that it's an arthritis which is affecting the system in general. So, so there are a number of ways we can identify uh, if the hip is arthritic or not. Very commonly when I see a patient with hip arthritis, we'll treat the patient with exercises, weight reduction, anti-inflammatory medications, sometimes injections, if the arthritis is not severe. I mean, surgery is always the failure, really, of all other forms of treatment. However, if the patient comes in, is disabled, has severe pain, and if the x-ray really confirms that the joint is destroyed, then many times there's no other option 
except for hip replacement. I mean, a way to look at this is arthritis really has got two separate characteristics. One is the inflammatory component, and one is the mechanical component. The inflammatory component can be treated with medication, injections, and some of these conservative measures, and the patient may get better. Once the arthritis in the hip, for example, has become advanced and the problem is mechanical, then the only way you can deal with it is to fix the mechanics, and that's a hip replacement.